at 30, that 30 brain do do something different. I'm falling out of my Delulu and everybody else still in their Delulu. And I'm like, what the girls that feel like that Delulu phase? So, no, you know you wrong, Mr. 18 Wheeler, for pulling out in front of us. Now you finna go 12 miles an hour. We're gonna try to do a in traffic on the way home type chat. Or keep us safe. I'm paying attention to the road, I'm just talking. I've been thinking a lot. So on my channel, I've been talking a lot about starting over. I have my starting over diaries because that's the current arc or part of life that I'm in right now. Because I'm starting over. Like I literally, um, I was in a relationship for about seven, eight-ish years, which was like all of my 20s, which feels like a waste of all of my 20s really, but everything is for a reason, right? Basically got out of the relationship right at 30. So like my whole series or whatever I'm doing with right now is starting over at 30 because I'm starting over. Like my finances got messed up. Starting over with relationships, starting over with my like self love journey. I'm just starting over in a lot of areas. Like when I grew up, I feel like I spent a lot of time in adulthood and growing up in survival mode, like just trying to do what I had to do to get by. I never allowed myself time to be me or to like actually like know what I like. Like now, even at like 31, I'm 31 now, I'm just starting to be like seeing things where I'm like, y'all, it's an accident up here. It's literally, every day when I drive home, it's always something on this freaking highway. Speaking of being rerouted, I'm rerouted now and she gonna have to figure out a way to get me here. Like, I don't know, I don't know if y'all believe in like Mercury retrograde, but my freaking electronics have been going crazy. Like, every day I use my GPS to get home and it literally has taken me like 10 different ways, but like it was a really bad accident on the highway. So I got off this exit that took me off on the other day and it's trying to reroute me to get back on the highway instead of reroute me to the way that I know I went. That's a, that's a word though, cause that's literally how life goes. It's like, okay, I knew I needed to go in a different direction, but it was trying to reroute me the other way, but I knew it was a better way to go. So I went this way and now that I endured and pushed and got to a different location to where she can find her way, we being rerouted. That's the word, right? Don't take me too seriously. Oh, y'all can't even see me. I'm just here to share my life experiences. Literally, that's one thing with me having this temporary job. I have to like just learn to not be comfortable because the routes I go home every day don't be the same route every day. Like I never know what's going to happen. Like I'm so in this season where I'm uncomfortable, but I feel like it's meant to be. Like, I feel like God is placing me in a season where I'm uncomfortable and I need to feel uncomfortable to make change. And that goes into like my whole starting over thing. Cause it's just like everything, not knowing anything or having any confirmation or security is like one of my biggest struggles in general. It triggers me. It's cause I'm not used to being very settled or what's the word? My lips are dry, settled or not try running the light settled or comfortable it really triggers me when i feel a sense of instability with this whole journey i feel like that's something i'm learning for the most starting over taking it for what it is and just taking the lessons and stop trying to put my hand on it so much and the beauty and just starting over and learning things like i'm really upset about some areas i've had to start over especially my finances and stuff like that but at the same time let me make this turn at the same time, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Y'all, this is so chaotic, but I'm trying to get it out. I feel like I'm supposed to be saying something, and I'm trying to get it out now because, yeah. <laughs> the hardest thing about me starting over now is, one, I lost myself at a young age, and I never really came back and redefined myself when I got older because I put so much emphasis on making sure everybody else was happy, making sure my actions went well with what everybody else expected of me. I fell into roles and I met, you know, everybody else's needs and I never, ever, ever took time to meet my own needs or even figure out what I want or what I like and things like that. So I think that's the beauty of this journey for me is I'm really learning a lot about what Brittany wants and what Brittany needs. And I'm learning to be selfish in the aspect of like, I've been so selfless my entire life that I don't even know like what I like. And that's a problem. So I feel like with God, I feel like I needed a reset. I needed to start over. I needed to gain clarity because as long as I continue to look for relationships and like camaraderie and things and people and don't really know what I like or what I want or how to set boundaries or how to surround myself with people who actually are rooting for me, I feel like it will consistently be a start over. It'll consistently be a setback. So that's the beauty for me of starting over. Like I'm learning more about myself. It is very like 
frustrating and sad to be honest in a lot of ways but not the truck no you know you wrong mr 18 wheeler for pulling out in front of us now you finna go 12 miles an hour for me that's been the beauty in it all oh my god god is really working on my patience with driving and traffic because like i i don't have the patience like i'm doing this long commute and i really don't be having the patience and these people be driving crazy and it'd be really he really tested me there's some people i felt negative energy for them but i just wanted to be connected to them so bad that i'm like okay maybe i can fix it maybe i can fix it i'm not fixing anything that i did not do like, if you just have an issue and I haven't done anything for you, I'm not fixing it. That's a you problem. And I'm finally learning that. And I'm finally learning to stand 10 toes down for me, basically, is what I'm saying. I needed that. Yeah, it's hard, though. I'm so not used to choosing me. It's uncomfortable. Even that is uncomfortable. Like, even that aspect is uncomfortable. It's like, for me right now, everything of this starting over is uncomfortable. Like, the choosing me, the standing my ground, the setting boundaries, the, the taking L's, like shutting businesses down, taking breaks, not being consistent because I'm a go-getter and I'm constantly, constantly. Like one thing about it is I was a workaholic. Unlearning the workaholic mindset and like, okay, baby, you live the soft life. You only got one body and you shouldn't be going that hard. Like it took intense burnout for me to even learn that lesson intense burnout in one mile they're right to merge intense burnout like i'm still burnt out but right now i'm on an assignment i'm doing a like project for marketing and like today i was thinking i'm like dang i'm doing this role i'm doing a really good job in this temporary role but it's triggering me because my last three roles I have been in like a position where it, it consistently wants more and wants more and wants more and wants more and oh my gosh it's so bumpy y'all and wants more and wants more and I be feeling like I give all I have and it's not enough because they be putting 15 rows into one row and me as being like a perfectionist and a people pleaser I will always give all of that energy and I ain't getting paid for all that energy so even in this role I'm learning to set boundaries like I can get done what I can get done um but it's triggering because it's like dang i'm in another role like this where it's just like y'all just want so so much but at the end of the day i do count it as a blessing and i'm very grateful for even having employment right now even if it is temporary because i know god will make way but even that and just the starting over i'm just realizing i'm not with the hustle and bustle of going up the corporate ladder like whenever i was in my late 20s see at 30 that 30 brain do do something different i know that they said you develop your um uh, what is it frontal lobe at 25 but something happened at 30 something happened i was talking to my, one of my co-workers about this the other day something happened at 30 where you just be like i don't want to do all this i want to choose me and i want to be happy and i want to find contentment and joy in the things that i do daily that includes my job what i do i want to enjoy doing it like i used to just be like i don't care what i do as long as i get to this bag it's very much not giving that anymore which is crazy for me because coming from nothing, my main focus was like, baby, we're going to get these bills paid because I'm not going back to not having nothing. Like, I can't. I ain't got nowhere else to go back to. You know what I mean? Now I'm just like, that's even uncomfortable because I'm just like, I'm not doing it. I'm not killing myself to go up in nobody. Corporate ladder, I'm not doing it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm going home. And I feel like even with some of my peers, I can't even relate to them anymore because they're still in that, like, whatever it takes. Like, I don't care. And I'm not. So it's just a lot like that, a lot of like personal growth. And let me know if y'all can relate to any of these. Um, Cause really the point of this channel is for me to share my starting over and my personal growth, but also just like lifestyle and stuff. Show more of my personality. When I first started this channel, it was just like, oh beauty, my lips are so freaking dry. Yeah, when I first started this channel, it was beauty, but it was like in the early beauty era and I felt like I had to be a certain type of way. And I feel like I never truly showed my personality. So now my rebrand, yes, it's starting over diaries, navigating my 30s, because baby, a lot has changed. But also it's just like, this is my personality, y'all. What's up? You know? It's showing up for me. That was another people pleasing thing. Like, oh, what do people want to see? I don't care what people want to see. I'm gonna show y'all what I want to show y'all on my channel. If you like it, you stay. If you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? That's another like way of me showing up for me. So, anyways, this is life at 30. These are like me learning, you know, to love myself, to stand up for myself and things like that. It's like, I gotta get over it on that. Yep. Golly.
they shouldn't have did all that to get in the room yeah so that's my journey that i'm doing right now and i kind of just wanted to talk about like the pain and the struggle of starting over but also how it could be like a good thing like i feel like for me i have suffered for literally two years of this starting over journey and i'm just now starting to be like okay i see progress okay i see like the the, the positive in it i've been depressed and sad and just like really just sad about life like i'm not gonna hold y'all like i'm really depressed like the way we were raised at 30 you're supposed to have this this and that and a lot of the people i grew up with they have it they have the doctorates they have the master degrees they have the they marry they got kids they got the nice cars and stuff like that and really we just have to unlearn that to be honest <clears throat> we really just got to unlearn that because baby it's people at 40 and 50 that still don't have it together and it's also people who have all those things that are more miserable than people like me that don't have kids or marriage at 30. so we really just gotta like find what works for us and stop letting these societal norms like make us depressed because i realized that too because i'm like i don't even care like I, being married is cool whatever whatever i'm not worried about that or finding a man or like having kids another day i just want to be happy I just want to be happy. I want to be in good health. I want to be able to spend time with my family. Y'all, I've never really taken a real vacation, like a solid vacation, like a I'm off and I ain't got to do nothing. Usually when I would take off, I would work on my business. Like, I don't know how to take time off, if that makes sense. I need to get over. Hurry up. If you don't want to let me over, but you're going slow. It's a beautiful and challenging journey so i'm saying all that to say if you're interested in that feel free to tap in subscribe join the journey i would love to like network and like talk to more people that are like me like and also with the internet being so vain and superficial these days i'm just like it don't feel like a lot of people are really like i feel like a lot of people are in delulu and like i'm falling out of my delulu and everybody else still in their delulu and i'm like what the girls that they feel like they delulu phase so we could talk and like be about talking about real life or stuff um yeah i feel like i'm alone <laughs> it's ups and downs i feel like i'm finally getting to the point i'm like and you know what it took me being like god have your way i had to take my hand off of it completely i stopped the business i stopped trying to do stuff i stopped trying to post literally i just stopped everything and that was really hard for me as a busybody but i did because i just needed god to take the lead i feel like i gotta put my hand on stuff too much and now we're here and we need to get it together yeah that was my little rant on starting over and the beauty of it and like how I feel about my starting over journey. Like when I first began, I was like, oh, this is such a depressing da da da. But there's joys and like positives in it. You'll see a little bit of both. So like I do the vlogs and then like I think I'm gonna do the talks in between. I was doing the talks in between anyway. So I just wanted to be more relatable and not so like sounding scripted and stuff like that. Cause I was trying to write scripts and I, it ain't me. I'm going to just talk y'all. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm going to try to get home safely. I got about 20 more minutes. Yeah, we're going to edit this and get it posted. Okay, y'all. I love y'all.